Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social this side and today we are going to discuss about the integration runtime. So integration runtime is very important concept inside the Azure Data Factory. And we can also say that the integration runtime is the backbone of Azure Data Factory. So what is integration runtime and where we can use that? So go to the next slide and we'll try to understand. So what is integration runtime? So the integration runtime is the compute infrastructure used by SAO data factory to provide the following data integration capabilities across different network environments. So basically inside the ADF, we are going to load the data from any one location to another location as the ATL tool. So it is going to provide a compute infrastructure and this compute infrastructure will provide the facility to move the data between different different network and environments so the first option that we can see data flow so basically data flow it executes the data flows in managed azure compute environment so for the data flow we did not discuss till now but in our upcoming videos we'll be going to see in the detail next in the data movement so we have seen about the copy data activity so it is going to copy the data from one source to another source and here by using the integration runtime it will provide the facility to move the data from public or the private network so public network is the azure network where we can directly connect with the azure and the private network that could be your sql server that is locally installed on your machine that is your on-prem environment so that is the private network next is the activity dispatch so dispatch and monitoring transformation activities running on the variety of compute services such as azure databrick azure hd insight ml studio as well and we are also azure sql database and sql server and many more so these are the activity dispatch services next is the ssis package execution if you have created your SSIS package and without making the changes on your package, we only want to execute the package by using the Azure Data Factory so we can have the option inside the integration runtime. So we can set the integration runtime for that and we can execute that. Next is integration runtime types. So Data Factory offers three types of integration runtime that you can see the Azure one, self-hosted IR and last is Azure SSIS IR. So these type of IRs are available that is integration runtime and we can choose according to our requirement. So the best as per our requirement we can choose between. So the first one that we can see the Azure one. So Azure can be accessed inside the data flow, inside the data movement, inside the activity dispatch and that we can also access inside the private network. Next is the self-hosted IR. So self-hosted IR can be used for the data movement and activity dispatch. So it cannot be used by data flows inside the Azure Data Factory so that we can see inside the self-hosted IR. So this can be used inside the private network as well for the data movement and activity dispatch. And the last one that is the Azure SSIS. So the Azure SSIS can be used for executing the SSIS packages. So that can be accessed inside the public and private network both. So mainly we are having these three types of the integration runtime. So go to the browser and we'll try to see in the practical. So if you are following my videos, so we have created a pipeline for the copy data. So inside the copy data, as we can see, we are going to load the data from your Azure SQL from one table to another table. So here we have created one employee underscore source data set. So if we go and we'll try to see under this data set. So we are using this Azure SQL SSU link service. So this link service will use the integration runtime to connect with the your source. So here we can see first we are having the integration runtime. Second we have the link service and third we have the data set. If we want to create the data set. So data set will use the link service and link service will use the integration runtime. So if we can edit from here, then we can see if we can scroll little bit downside, 
then here we can see connect via integration runtime that you can see here so if i can click on this so it is going to provide the integration runtime is the compute infrastructure used by data factories to provide data integration capabilities across different network environments and as your integration runtime can be used to connect data stores and compute services in the public network so public network with your azure network and here we can see with the public accessible endpoints and here we can see the use sl hosted ir for private and on prem networks so that is the definition for the integration and time is you can also check from here so here we can see auto resolve integration and time by using this integration and time we are created this link service so let me cancel this and go to the manage side and under the manage here we can see the integration run time so let me go there so by default we will be having this integration run time so while you are going to create the azure data factory this ir will be available there so this ir will be working behind the scene under the link service to connect with your source or destination see here it is like monitor option and second here we can see for the code for this ir and we don't have the option to delete this ir so this ir is system generated and we cannot modify or delete if you want to create the new ir then we can click on the new and it will open this window and here we have the option to create the azure self hosted ir and azure ssis so these two types of ir can be created so that we will see in our upcoming videos don't worry for now go to the next and here as we can see we are having this data factory so this data factory is using for the azure type of ir that is by default and system generated so while we are using this type of ir so it will be going to consume under the storage accounts so if your source or destination is storage account then this type of ir can be used similarly for the azure sql db so we have created the copy data activity and where we have used the azure sql db as a source and destination so it has used azure ir and last for the azure snaps so if your source or destination is in azure snaps then we can also use that similarly for the second option that is again for the azure ir so in this option we can see the same thing if we can go and check for the third one so this is for the self hosted ir so under the self hosted ir it is going to connect with the sql server so sql server is your on prem environment so if you want to connect with your on prem sql server then we have to use the self hosted ir that you can see here and last one that is the azure ssis integration runtime that you can see here so while we are going to execute the ssis packages then we are required to have the azure ssis integration runtime under the data factory and that will be going to execute under the azure sql db so we will see in detail about this so don't worry for now here you can only understand we are having three types of ir and where we can use all those so that we have seen so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video